Hello everyone, I'm that tech guy. A vast majority of laptops today come equipped with hybrid graphics, one for gaming and the other for everyday use. And for you Ubuntu users out there, I'd like to show you how you can seamlessly switch between the two depending on your current needs. Okay, so today I would like to show you on Ubuntu how to switch between your dedicated graphics card and your gaming graphics card. And for this tutorial, I am running my Asus laptop, which comes equipped with a NVIDIA and an Intel card each. So the first thing that we need to do before we get started is we need to check and make sure that we have the latest driver for NVIDIA. And we can do that by opening up a terminal and simply typing in sudo apt get install nvidia dash current type in your password and let that run and if there is an updated driver it will prompt you to install it and just press y for yes and enter and let this push through and depending on your internet speed it will take um, anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. So just hang tight and let that run. And right now is a good time to go make a sandwich if you're hungry. Because um, it could be a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it here and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, the most current driver for NVIDIA has downloaded and it's already installed itself. So we can go ahead and close the terminal. The next thing you want to do is open up your additional drivers. Let it search for all of the ones you have available. And once that's done, we're going to want to select the most current NVIDIA driver. So, let's see. 346. Okay, it looks like the most current one for me right now is the 349.12. So I'll select that and click Apply Changes. And then I need to authenticate. And then just give it a moment to apply. It will take a minute or two. Okay, once that's completed, we can just close this tab. And then you'll want to bring up the NVIDIA X Server Settings. And under the Prime Profiles, you select the graphics card that you want to use. So if I want to do like gaming, I'll choose my NVIDIA card and for basically everything else I want my Intel card. So you select the one you want and authenticate. And then once you authenticate it will prompt you to log out and log back in and you should be good to go. Now if you do this and you come up with an error like this, oh, well it didn't do that time, this time, but if you get an error saying um, could not complete or if it's just a circle with a line through it, then all you simply need to do is just restart your PC and after applying the latest driver for it, that should fix it. So I hope this helps. If you have any troubleshooting issues, then please write them in the comments and I'll try to help out. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. So, thank you for watching.